Hi guys, so welcome back to another GMD tutorial. So today we will be discussing about creating your own custom themes. So today, um, what you need to do is just to grab this command and then um, run it into your terminal or CMD. Then you need to make sure also you have um, Git installed to your machine in order to execute this command. Okay, so let's get to your uh, IDE so what's it's important to your project so, uh, we need to make sure that um, you're using the master branch so currently I'm using the version of 2.4.1 which is this current stable release as of this moment then um, let's discuss the SAS files okay so we're using SAS files on uh, grid material themes in order for us to generate the corresponding styles style properties for all of the material widgets so we have here the add-ins uh, the components which is I think this one is from the material itself and you have incubator and also the override styles for the materialize okay um, alright so on the variable section so this is the most um, important thing is you can customize all of the uh, for example here we have add-ins so especially the rating colors uh, file uploader color time picker header color and also in the incubator so we have three instances there and also we have the override CSS uh, you have the ghost for example we have the new uh, type for the button so it's the uh, yeah, so we have the ghost text color and also on the compon um, components so you can see you can override the style for the buttons we have the flat so you can uh, if you want to reduce the border radius uh, add the border um, change the display so you can configure everything um, <clears throat> that's being generated on the material CSS files so this is a good to go because um, it's easy, it's flexible that you can change everything so especially right now we will be discussing about the uh, primary colors and the secondary color to change it a little bit so yeah so let's go get diving into that part on the theme so in this theme package we have uh, everything that we had for example you can just import on the I'll just open that up so on the application like that one uh, here so we are importing theme blue so meaning we're just importing this package this uh, the generated one should be on the resources directory so once th those SAS file has been generated then it should be turned out like this so on the this one with material tutorial is from our application so we're saying that we're using the grid material basic with the custom team right so we have team blue so it means that we are importing this material is blue if you want team amber then it should import this from the material themes so that's the logic behind that but for now we will be discussing how we can um, import our custom CSS okay so on the custom CSS go to your for example in the SAS theme and then go to the custom so into this we will be de declaring some of the override styles we want to uh, customize okay so here we have variable customs so right here you can change the uh, primary color right now we're using green but um, you can change uh, the color uh, depending on to your uh, taste so let's just open up for example flat design colors so instead of material color, so we'll be just, uh, using the okay right here, right? So we will be the we will be using this one, and then um, what you can just do, for example, uh, I just want to copy uh, copy this one, okay, and then paste it here. That's your primary color, right? And your light color should be the fifteen percent uh, alpha of that one and it will be lighten up and the darken should be the opposite so let's check the yeah let's check the secondary color too 
So let's add the second dollar color right there. Okay. So good thing about the IntelliJ is you can see that the uh, uh, how you call this the on the on this side on this part of the panel you can see that the color is being updated and be shown. So that's a good indication that we will be applying this. Okay. The next thing is so once you have that. You can also uh, everything that imports the primary color on the add-ins, for example, or the secondary color, I should say. So you, you can see that all the scroll spy color, rich editor, rating color should be uh, inheriting that uh, variable. So that's the good thing about SAS is uh, you don't want to define every um, hexadecimal um, colors into each of these. Uh, variables on this uh, yeah on this variables because you will be using the inheritance part of this one the variable custom you so you should have secondary color right there okay you can also change the success error and link so especially in the incubator part and override part so you can have all of those okay all right so um let's try to um to do that. Uh, in, in summary, I mean, uh, what's going on is we imported the grid material themes using the command. I will be posting this in the description. So once you pull that out, uh, we will be changing on the SAS theme custom. We will be changing the color, uh, primary color and the secondary color. And lots of colors. So if you want to specify um, custom color for your button, so you can have that. And okay, let, let's try this out. So on the on the Maven, uh, I'm using the IntelliJ. Uh, just add the uh, what it calls generate theme. So by default, we have a generate theme uh, profile. So I think on the Maven, you can execute that using the terminal. But um, right here, I will be executing it through this um, uh, helpful UI from IntelliJ. So we clean and then we install. Oh, forgot to mention. So this material uh, custom SCSS should be the one who will be generating the, uh, spitting out the CSS file. So oh, what we're doing here is we importing every resources that we want um, to be added to the uh, what they call this generation. So we have here the com component scholar and variable custom. So which is this one, right? And then we have. Uh, a after that, we are just uh, using a very just resetting. We have normalized from the material CSS, and also we have the components. So that's all the components that we want to generate the CSS files, and we have also the add-ins and incubator styles. Okay. Okay. So w once you have that, so let's go back to the um, here under resources. So resources is just the uh, CSS generated CSS files, right? And also the corresponding um, width modules, and the SAS contains all of the um, uh, what they call this, the SAS, um, the variables, um, and also the uh, themes. Okay, so let's go back here. So on the custom CSS, so you, you will see that these are generated properly. So let's check the color. Oh yeah, you see that? So that that's the pumpkin color, and right. So we have here. Okay, so what you can just do after you generated it, um, assuming that you have an existing project. So for example, I have here a good material tutorial. So that's using 2.4.1. So make sure you are using 2.4.1. So here, or even the 2.4.0. So I think the generation of themes are available and stable on 2.4.0. So make sure you are using that. So once you have that done, then on the good material tutorial, um, go to the oh I should delete this okay yeah go go to your resources directory and then paste the uh, the, the one that you've generated okay so the custom CSS so right here um, you can do multiple things uh, first first thing is you can import it using the style injector um, 
and the second thing is you can import this directly from the HTML one and then you can just create a tag uh, link href and then define this and yeah but uh, right now we will be using the uh, the other way which is the uh, this app resources so you've created this um, together with your app CSS so I will be using the materialized custom CSS so right here yeah so this is the Im importing the the one that we've pasted okay and into your um, let's just find where we import this so into your application presenter or on the bootstrap of your application so you can just inject this materialized custom CSS in order for you to what to call this to consume the all, all of the CSS properties that we've been generating. Okay, okay, and then um, make sure also on the Git material tutorial, so you will not be importing any theme. You will be just using the basic with jQuery debug. So um, meaning uh, there's no um, how you call this. There's no uh, CSS properties, I mean the materialized uh, CSS to be injected because we will be using our custom one, okay? Okay, so, yep, I think that's all. So that, that's the the use cases into that. And then let's run the project to make sure that we are um, doing the right thing. Okay, while waiting for it to run, so, okay, so I'll just summary. So we imported the project, uh, defined the custom, uh, sus variable for the uh, for the what it is for the sas file and the next thing is um, we on the Git material tutorial we have um, uh, pasted the copy the copy the materialist custom CSS file and then pasted it here on the resources package of your application and on the Git material tutor tutorial make sure you ha you don't have any theme imported and you're just using the Git material basic debug, right? And then, um, yeah, make sure also you have uh, this injected to your application using the uh, style injector on the Bootstrap, or the or adding it manually to the HTML file on the index that HTML. Okay. So yep, I think that's all. Let's try. Okay, you see now. So you have the primary. Uh, the primary should be the navigation, the footer outside of the scope, and also the secondary should be the components. So you can see that everything has been changed. You see that? Yeah. So this is good. So you can customize your own. Uh, what do you call this? Own color. Not only the color, the theme, but also the uh, size sizes. For example, if you want to customize the size of this checkbox. Uh, change the button looks so yeah so I hope you enjoy this um, mini series of um, with material tutorial project thank you and stay safe goodbye